Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. We just passed 120 subs. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You got Your support has been awesome, and I hope I continue to make great content in the future for you guys. Now, in the American Conference on Saturday. There's a very interesting game between two teams that need a win. The Memphis Tigers are traveling at the ECU Pirates. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now Memphis to start the season is 4-2 and two, and Ryan Silverfield at head coach has done a decent job with Memphis this season. They are better than they were last year uh, when they went 6-6 six and six, and they weren't playing as well as they were under the previous head coaches. But Memphis this year has looked a little bit better but they've had a few ups and downs. They lost to Mississippi State and week one on the road, 49-23. to 23. And That's not a bad loss because Mississippi State is, is playing really good football this year. And then they beat Navy on the road, 37-13. to 13. That was a good win. It's always tough to beat the Armed Forces teams. Then they beat Arkansas State, 44-32. to 32. That was a good win. And they beat North Texas, 44-34. to 34. Both were good wins. Obviously, they didn't beat these teams by too, too much. But again, a win is a win. Then they beat Temple, 24-3. to 3. They shut Temple down. But then they lost to Houston, 33-32. to 32. This game right here, they probably should have won, but again, they let Houston come back and win, but that was a heartbreaking loss for Memphis because Memphis could have easily been 5-1. and one. Now, in that Houston game, quarterback Seth Hennigan had 241 yards and a touchdown and 24 rushing yards. Seth Hennigan is improving. Uh, he was a freshman quarterback for Memphis last year, but he is a lot better this year, and he is only getting better. Running back Jevion Ducker at 38 yards. Wide receiver Gabriel Rogers at 71 yards, 23 rushing yards, and 41 passing yards and a touchdown. Basically, this guy did it all in the Houston game. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to win, but Gabriel Rogers is a really good receiver. And on the defensive side of the ball, defensive back Sylvanta Oliver at eight tackles. Linebacker Zay Collins at seven tackles. Defensive back Greg Rubin at four tackles. And defensive lineman Ward Dallas Ducksworth had three tackles. Memphis's defense has been up and down. At times they've played really well, and at times they've played poorly. So it's kind of tough to say how good their defense is. They've been very iffy on that side of the ball. And their offense has been mostly consistent to start the season. Now on the ECU side, East Carolina's three and three to start the season. And Mike Houston has really turned East Carolina around from the end of the Ruffin McNeil era and the Scotty Montgomery era where they were struggling. But ECU is a lot better. And last year they made a bowl game and unfortunately it got uh, shut down because of the virus. But again, ECU's been playing really good football. But this season, they've been struggling a little bit. They are 3-3 three and three to start the season. And in week one, they had a heartbreaking loss to NC State, 21-20. to 20. Special teams killed them in this game. If they had just hit a field goal at the end, they would have beaten NC State. But they lost, and that would have been a great win for ECU. Then they beat Old Dominion, 39-21. to 21. That was a good win because, obviously, Old Dominion beat Virginia Tech the week before. Then they beat Campbell 49-10. to 10. That was a good win. But then they lost to Navy in overtime, 23-20. to 20. And as you saw, Memphis beat Navy by a lot, and then ECU lost to Navy, so that's not a good sign there. Then they won at South Florida 48-28, to but then they lost at Tulane in the last game 24-9, and obviously Tulane is a much better football team this year, and Tulane beat Kansas State, so Tulane's a really good team, but ECU has kind of fallen a bit short so far of what they were preseason expectations were for this team and obviously ECU needs to get back on track if they're going to make a bowl game because ECU has a tough schedule to end the season. Quarterback Holt Naylor is at 288 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions and 17 rushing yards against Tulane. He is a dual threat quarterback. He's a big quarterback and he can take a lot of hits but he hasn't had as good of a season as he did last year. I don't know again if it's the tough schedule that they have or if it's just some problems with the offense I don't know what's going on with maybe some receiver miscommunicating I don't know but he's not as solid as he was last year but he's still playing well running back Marlon Gunn Jr. 67 yards and 25 receiving yards wide receiver Isaiah Winstead at 90 yards and wide receiver CJ Johnson at 51 yards and a touchdown CJ Johnson is a receiver that if he gets in the open field it's almost game over they need to get the ball more to him he only had three receptions against Tulane that needs to be at more closer to 10 receptions if they're going to beat Memphis on the defensive side of the ball safety Julius Wood has seven tackles defensive lineman JD Lampley at three tackles and defensive lineman Chad Stevens at five tackles 
ECU's defense has played well at times this season. Kind of like Memphis, they've been a little inconsistent. Some games they've given them a lot more points than they should, but at times they've been really locked down on defense. So who do I think is going to win this game? The ironic thing about this game is ECU does need this game more than Memphis. And a lot of times when a team is desperate and you need a win, and it's at home, you do everything you can to win. But Memphis, to me, has just been more consistent to start this season. They, Even though they lost to Houston in their last game, and they should have won that game, that every game up besides that they've won, besides the Mississippi State game, which no one's going to expect them to beat them, and they and they played well in all their other games, and they blew out Navy. East Carolina lost to Navy, and I'm not saying that when you have two teams that have played the same team and that matters what the scores were for both teams in that game, but the fact that Memphis beat Navy by a lot and ECU lost to Navy suggests to me that Memphis is a better team overall. I think Memphis has a better roster overall on offense and defense. I think East Carolina is still a really good team. A lot of people thought they were going to be even better than what they've been at the beginning of the season, but they've kind of fallen off a little bit since then, since the NC State loss. I think that East Carolina is still a good team, and I think they can win. Mike Houston has done a lot of good work at ECU. You, but I think that Memphis is going to go on the road and win at ECU 28-24. to Again, ECU can win, but I think Ron Silverfield and Memphis has just a little bit better of a roster than ECU. ECU's kind of struggling a little bit this season, and they've kind of faltered a bit down the stretch. So I think Memphis is going to go on the road and win at ECU 28-24. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Memphis or ECU is going to win this game and why, and I will see you next time.